10 weirdest video games ever made. 10. Who's Your Daddy? Well, Who's Your Daddy is basically a parenting chaos simulator. The game is solely one versus one asymmetric multiplayer. One player plays the father, moving objects around and keeping an eye on the baby, trying to keep it safe and healthy. The second player is the baby, and simply has to do whatever it takes to die. Whether that's jamming a fork in a power outlet, or shutting itself in the oven with a belly full of batteries and chlorine, is up to the industrious baby player. 9. WarioWare Smooth Moves WarioWare Smooth Moves is a micro-game collection for Wii that has you perform various time-based actions, many of which would weird out even the most jaded gamer. Using the Wii Remote in all sorts of clever ways, you'll have to balance a broom, pick a nose, vacuum up leaves, and even play sections of classic Nintendo games. The way this crazy hodgepodge comes together makes no sense at all. But by the end, it might start to seem normal. That's when you know it's time to take a break. 8. EnviroBear The title, which looks like it was made in MS Paint by a hallucinating lunatic, stars a bear engaging in some very distracted driving. You control the bear's every movement, but you can only do one thing at a time. You can press the gas to accelerate, but then you have to remove your paw to shift gears and turn the steering wheel. It gets even more complicated when you have to deal with things that fall into your car, like fish, rocks, and hyperactive badgers. It's not much fun to play, but boy is it weird. 7. Icarus Proudbottom The story of Icarus Proudbottom follows a young man who is cursed into constantly defecating and at such a fast rate that it sends him flying around the world and even into space. Along the way, he meets an owl that becomes his spirit animal and weapon and fights countless enemies, including President Barack Obama. Though this is easily one of the crazier concepts for a game, it is a little bit less surprising that it actually got made. The game features very simple graphics and was developed for Flash, so just about anyone can play it on their computers. 6. Japan World Cup Japan seems to have a knack for these kinds of games. Japan World Cup doesn't fall short in bizarre points. The game appears to be about horse racing in Japan, and it has the setting just right. But things go odd when the racers start to line up in the box. Some horses have weird hairstyles or strange bodies. Some of them aren't even horses at all. The game is loaded with silly antics, strange things for jockeys to ride, whether it's an elephant, yeti, trojan horse, or a barrel with human legs sticking out posing as a horse. 5. Mr. Mosquito There seems to be a trend for games that have you controlling critters are among the weirdest out there. Mr. Mosquito is no exception. In the game, you terrorize a Japanese household, waiting for the right moment to strike and steal their blood. If the right moment doesn't present itself, sometimes you have to create distractions, like flying into a light switch to turn the lights off. If it wasn't weird enough to be a mosquito or go around sucking blood, the game also forces you to enter combat with the folks in the household as they try to smash you. A few well-placed bumps is all it takes to calm them down. 4. Katamari Damacy Japan knows how to get away with releasing some of the most bizarre games and has clearly had enough success to keep doing it. Katamari Damacy follows a pint-sized prince who has to make up for his father's destruction by rolling around a ball that clumps items together into a giant mass that the prince can use as celestial objects. The game is goofy and was developed on an exceedingly small budget. Nonetheless, it was actually a solid success. It spawned numerous sequels across multiple platforms. 3. Tokyo Jungle Tokyo Jungle sets you in a world where humanity has vanished, and you start out as none other than one of nature's vicious predators, the Pomeranian, or a small silka deer. The game forces you to explore, find food, 
set up a place to live and mate. As you progress through the game, you gain experience and can unlock different animals that may be a bit more threatening than the Pomeranian. Throughout the perilous journeys and generations, you get to explore downtown Tokyo. 2. The Stanley Parable The best way to explain the Stanley Parable is probably just to make someone play it. The game has you play as Stanley, who works in a small office, just typing in whatever is displayed on his computer screen. But that's not the part you play. Instead, you explore the building because you stop receiving commands on the screen. Between the numerous paths you can take, the way the narrator is constantly talking about your actions, whether disappointed in what you did or trying to influence what you will do, and the way your character can lose his sanity, this game checks off all the boxes on the crazy list. 1. Seaman Seaman is a virtual pet, but he doesn't come with instructions. You simply turn the game on and try different things to figure out how to feed and nurture this horrific creature. The only help you get is from the occasional instructions by the narrator, Leonard Nimoy. Soon you get more seamen to breed with each other and grow into hideous frog creatures. That is, provided you keep the seamen alive long enough to do so, which means checking in on them every day.